Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Wednesday, the 27th of September, 2023. I'm carrying the magic of Open Heavens is authored by that in the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful for a new day and a new dawn. We thank you for sending your word to us again. Thank you for another opportunity to be blessed through your word. Father, we pray that indeed you will bless us, that you will illuminate our lives. You will transform us through your word, and our lives will not be re- remain the same for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic of today is Help Thou My Unbelief. Help Thou My Unbelief. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Mark 9, verse 24. And straightway, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. Our Bible reading is taken from the book, same Mark 9, verse 17 to 27. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And whensoever he taketh him, he teareth him. And he foamed and gnashed with his teeth, pinneth away. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him straightway, the spirit tore him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed for me. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said of a child, And of times it had cast him into fire and into waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. And straightway the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, in so much that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hands and lifted him up, and he rose. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The topic once more is help thou my unbelief. Help thou my unbelief. We've seen accounts from that story of that man who, as a adventure, as a result of how long the, his son's situation had been, adventure as a result of different places he would have gone to for help. And no help has come. You know, he didn't. He couldn't even believe. You know, his faith level must have been bastardized. You know, it must have been messed up. You know, he had tried different things and he would have given up, thinking there's no help. You know, that that spirit had dealt with the boy, and the man would have felt nothing can actually, and he would have given up that I don't think this boy can have help, and it is difficult for him to to believe. You know. You know, there are some situations in, 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 in people's life too that is looking as if, can actually, can there be a solution to my problem? Can I actually have a solution? In short, we saw from the book of Ezekiel, when God asked the prophet, he said, can this bone live? You know, God asked him that question, not because God didn't know that the bone can move or that he didn't know what he would do. You know, God asked some questions. And what did the prophet say? He said, only you know. And like Adadi said, he said, in other words, what he's saying is that my faith cannot undo it because he has looked at it. How can bone, how, where will flesh come that it will come? There's even no breath. The bone that does not have flesh, the bone that there's no breath. You know, it, 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 it became a difficult situation and his faith could not carry it. You know, and he said, you know, only you know. Adventure, you are in that situation too. And just like our daddy in the Lord also gave his own example of when God God spoke to him concerning a thing that, see, 
tell those people that they should come to the convention next year without money because he was going to feed them and he's like how can i feed ten thousand people and now 20 years later god did not fail but it was looking like something that can it is almost impossible but then what happens with god nothing shall be impossible like when that man says if thou you know when he, he said how long is it that he's been happy and he said of a child and often times and jesus said unto him if thou can believe all things are possible to him that believe you know jesus, um, um, jesus christ asked him and you could see that the man does not he said if he can and jesus asked him that if i can and he said if you can believe nothing shall be impossible so the only thing that god needs from you and i is our faith and you know the good news concerning this is that even if our faith is failing especially maybe concerning that situation in your life maybe because it has lingered for so long or probably it's like you have been duped concerning that situation there have been different people that have been coming to give you solution and it is looking like see there's no solution but eventually you had even given up now at this point there's no solution let me just be like that you know it reminded me of the story of a woman who had been trusting god to get married that that in the lord gave at some point and because she had been trusting god to get married then she became she was going to be 50 or probably she was 50 and at that particular holy ghost service when she came she just told her god see there's no point giving me a, a husband again because at this point she can't even have children so there's even no point. Why would she be looking for that? She was just going to serve him for the rest of her life. Maybe because she has been feeling that I've been coming, prayers as well. So it is difficult for her to believe that she can have. But then God answered her, gave her husband, and in nine months later she had she had she delivered a set of twins. So God, the word of God is tell, coming to you and I today. That even in that situation, that it is looking as if you cannot, you there's no faith. The word of God is telling us that you can cry to God that please help my unbelief. And he did. For that man, the Lord Jesus Christ helped his unbelief and his son was delivered of that demonic spirit. You know, And the word of God concerning that your situation, the Lord will help your unbelief in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Like I did the Lord said, he said immediately when he came across that Bible passage, that he was, he was very happy. The day I heard the story, I was so glad because that means if my faith is not enough, I can cry to him and he will make it go. Concerning that situation that your faith is not enough, that situations have bastardized your faith, that what you have seen, you have heard is pulling you down. I pray that the Lord will help your unbelief in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And He will help you and I to cause our faith to grow. That will grow enough, you know, to bring to pass our miracle. To bring to pass, to deliver unto us that which you have been trusting God for. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says if you have faith, others are small as a mustard seed you can move mountain that faith that is as small enough that is enough to turn our situations around the lord will give unto us even as we cry unto him so why don't you cry unto him concerning that situation where it is looking as if your faith level you know even the word of god is almost looking as if can I, how do i trust god again how do i trust this thing is too big i know that god is all powerful but for this particular one i think it needs but then with God, all things are possible. I pray in the name of Jesus that just like that man cried, the Lord will help our unbelief. He will cause our faith to grow enough to bring to pass our miracles in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And just like he did for our daddy in the Lord, that he helped his faith grow. Eventually, he announced it and the Lord did as he has said. As he has said, maybe he has spoken concerning you. Maybe there had been prophecy concerning you. Or the Lord has told you something concerning your life or concerning your situation. And it is difficult for you to believe. Even as the word of God has come to you, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. 
the Lord will help your faith to grow and to bring to reality that which he has said concerning you and that which you are trusting him for in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer point, Father, please help my unbelief. Why don't you cry out, Father, in that situation, in every situation that the, uh, where your people are trusting you for, Father, please help our unbelief and bring to pass every of our heart desires. Bring them to fulfillment, to the glory of your name, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.